There we go. This is one of the last events on the track. The 200. Gosegas, Pekin, Nanda, Whistle, Newton, Longo, Jody Henry and Fitzumanu. We're going to have to talk about Jody Henry here, aren't we? What a brilliant athlete she was back in 2010. On this track, she won the 200 metres and the 400 metres for the national championship. She ran 52-2 and super fast over 200. And this is her first race back since injury. And she has had a long injury outlay. She did. I think she um, even may have had a fall. And I think I remember reading about a neck injury. Yeah, and the so, doctor said she wouldn't be able to run again. And she's proving them wrong. She has done a couple of interclubs out here, a couple of fours. and Quite fast. Too, yeah, so very handy. But look at this. He is the man of, not even just the hour, he's, man, he's just the man. Man of the sport. Man of the sport. And look, serving the service in the crowd there, it's a huge pile up at the finish line. Let's hope they just turn around and peek at this 200. But look at that. And even congratulating some of our athletes, this is why it's great to have the junior champs and a man like Radisha. That photo is definitely going to be an Instagram and his profile <laughs> photo, maybe his cover photo at the same time. And just to note how respectful our Australian crowds are, these guys are you know, in the present presence of track royalty and rather than jump on him like fans can do they're very patient allowing David to do his thing it's great to see I think it's a very strong fence down there too <laughs> this women's 200 is going to be very exciting obviously Lindsay Pekin who's part of the 4x400 squad last year at the Bahamas for the world uh, relays and for the world champs last she year she them, qualified them for Rio she did help qualify them for Rio and she was pacing the 800 not long ago for the women so this is a great training session for her because her main event obviously is the four hurdles and the 400 it would be very interesting to see but we've got Whistle and Nanda they went one and three in the 100 earlier today we're seeing a lot of these athletes back up we'll see how they can go keep an eye on the bright pink of Whistle in lane five They are away and whistle flying out of the blocks. Nanda chasing her out on the outside. Jody Henry running very well on Longo on her inside. But as they enter the home straight, it's going to be Whistle leading them. Nanda chasing her down. Whistle ran 11.44 in the 100 earlier today. Nanda on her shoulder. Nanda now striding home. Look at the turnover. Nanda from India flying past her. Jody Henry's going to finish the second 23.44 with a win plus 1.3. That last 50, very, very strong by the Indian. An athlete. That's going to be a PB for her if that time holds up, so we'll wait for confirmation, but over the night, that looks like uh, it's going to be a PB, legal, 1.3 as you said, Lynchy, and it's confirmed 23.43 PB for <laughs> Sorry, Shrabani Nanda. No, I, have I, just... to, I have to be honest, I was watching Jodie Henry then more, and it was fantastic. She came through in third, and obviously she looks like she's lacking a little bit of race fitness and hardness, but isn't it awesome to have her back out there racing? And she came third, first Australian, 24.50. It... It's not too bad when you're coming back after a four or five year later. But you look at the end of the race whistle just with that 200 metre, that 100 metre speed not holding on, but Nanda holding that form perfectly. She may have dipped a little bit early there, but it was a strong lit. And we've got Mossy trackside with our Indian winner. Here we are, trackside, Shrabani Nanda. That was a bit of a shock for a few of us, but you just ran a PB, 23.43. Talk us through the race. Well, I came all the way from India to run with the, to get a better competition. So I'm pretty much happy with the PB and trying to qualify. So for you, qualifiers, is it the same as the IAAF qualifiers? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. And what's next for you? Uh, I'm doing the Sydney one, Sydney Track Classic and the Nationals. Yeah, until the next month. Hope oh, I'll get a good time. Well, well, we wish you the absolute best. Congratulations, you've taken out the final event here, the 200 metres at the Perth Track Classic. Back up to you, Tamsin. Thanks for that, Mossy. Well, that was a fantastic 200 metre race. We'll just wait for the results here. There it is, Nanda, 23.43 confirmed, a PB, Whistle, 23.62, and Jody Henry on the comeback trail, 24.50. Very handy. She has run a 23.29 back in her heyday, but uh, coming back from that apparently career-ending injury, yeah. obviously it wasn't a career-ending injury because she's back. It's just exciting seeing her back out there. Jody, it's fantastic to have you back out there on the track.